How to avoid burnout. I'm going to use myself as a great example with my YouTube channel. I've been doing two videos a week on a consistent basis for what seems like forever. And yet I still don't have a million subscribers. Come on, you people got to tell people about this great channel. And each video that I do takes quite a bit of time from coming up with the idea to doing the actual video and then the editing. The editing could take forever if I wanted it to. And yet I still don't burn out. In this video, I'm going to be going over with you three tips that you could use as well so you don't burn out. Step number one is to have low expectations. I quickly realized that was going to be a long, hard slog for me on YouTube. And that's okay. Some people come on YouTube and they rise up real quickly and they take off like shooting stars. But that wasn't going to be for me. Step number two is to adjust. Since I realized that it was going to be a long, hard slog on YouTube, I treated it like a marathon race rather than a sprint. I could be doing three videos a week in hopes of growing faster, but I know that wouldn't be sustainable over the long term, so I keep it to two. I could spend hours and hours and hours editing each video, but I know that wouldn't be sustainable over the long term. I know if I did these things at three videos a week, spent hours and hours of editing, gave up activities that I normally would like to do, all for YouTube videos, then I would be in a situation where I would need to see great results. I don't want to be in that position. That's why I do what I do, and that way I can grow slowly and be perfectly happy with that. Step number three is to get a benefit from the process of doing the thing rather than just the results. Using myself as an example with my videos, I get a benefit from each and every video that I do. And that's because it gives me a chance to practice my public speaking. And it gives me a chance to express my thoughts and ideas in a coherent fashion over and over and over again which causes me to get better at that when I'm talking to people one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. And that's probably the biggest benefit that I get from doing videos. For you, maybe you're doing something where you just enjoy the process. You love whatever it is you're doing. And if you get results from it, great. If not, great, you just enjoy it anyway. And if you enjoy what you're doing, how can you ever get burnt out? You can't. That's pretty much the secret. To summarize, in order not to get burnt out, start off with low expectations. Prepare for a long, hard slog, if that's what it will take. Pace yourself. Make sure that you either enjoy the process or you're just getting some sort of benefit from the process so you don't have to rely on great results. If you like this video, and how could you not? Smash the like button and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.